morning everybody and if it's your first time here on Travel Tour Taste a very warm welcome to you and if you're back for the 500th time then thank you for all your continued support where are we this morning on the morning of day 8 I do believe it is on board the P&O Britannia we are in Gibraltar today but right now we're in the sunset bar at the back of the ship watching a beautiful sunrise we've just over to the right hand side there you can see a little bit of Morocco I do believe that is Morocco correct me in the live chat underneath if I am wrong well not the live chat the comments but we're gonna have a wonderful day we're gonna go and see the monkeys so I make sure that you've got everything strapped up if that is something that you want to do what I will say about Gibraltar is it's great because it uses the pound so if you're from the United Kingdom that is absolutely fine and also I would book your shore excursions very early on on your cruise because every single one of them last night had sold out so if you're gonna plan to do any shore excursions in Gibraltar then book them either before you come on board or as soon as you get on board and get the P&O cruises internet Wi-Fi whatever you want to call it and their app so hopefully today is going to be a really really good day it's one that me and Sarah have been looking forward to all weekend along and um, yeah what can you say bring on the monkeys let's go well guys we've come straight out of the terminus or terminal whatever you want to call it and we are going to take a little mini bus it's 35 pounds and it takes you to all three viewpoints also you will get a chance to see the monkeys in the caves as well so that includes your 16 pounds entrance fee all for 35 pounds so um i think we're going to do that today how beautiful is this we've just come to our first stop of the day we are halfway well not even halfway up we're about a third way up of Gibraltar now a few statistics on Gibraltar it has a population of around 32,000 people and you do get around 16,000 that hop over from Spain to do work each day in the call centers and things like that and from other people from around Europe because properties are so expensive in Gibraltar that they rent in Spain and then just basically walk across the border now the rock is around 426 meters high itself like I said they've got a population of 32,000 that constantly live here and the square footage it's only a very very small island is three miles square and just over to my right hand side there you will see the north of Africa in the background it's only 14 miles away and if you go on a fast ferry it would only take you about one hour so over there we've got Morocco how glorious is this We are a little bit further up the rock now and we're just heading in to St Michael's Cave where you've got stalactites and stalagmites. Now apparently they have music here as well, orchestral performances and things like that so it should be really really interesting and there is the entrance the awakening entrance oh my goodness me I am so looking forward to this and we might see the odd monkey we can see one just there but it's got glasses on I don't know whether you can see me guys if you can't it doesn't matter you can hear my voice loads of stalagmites stalagmites sorry and stalactites hanging from the roof That, my friends, is St. Michael. Look at the two wings coming out and the long body. Look at that. And then there's, there was the head at the centre. We saw it just a few seconds ago.
amazing was St Michael's Caves. Wow, absolutely stunning. And the light show was perfect. Now we're up on the Sky Walk. And um, if you're scared of heights, then look away now because you can see right the way down to the bottom. Oh my life. <laughs> wow, great photo opportunity. So when you're in Gibraltar, do as the Gibraltans do. Come up onto the Skywalk and get some fantastic photos. I tell you what, it really does make your eyes go a little bit funny, indeed. But it's not a sight to be missed. Wow, just take a look over there. And there's the very top, unbelievable. Isn't it stunning? Oh, and you can go, there's a couple of monkeys here. couple of monkeys baby ones by the look of it and um one is lay there basking in the sun and the other one is grooming go and take a quick look okay so if you just look around you to our, over on that far side we have the beautiful country of Portugal which we were there just a couple of days ago over on this side if you keep going you will reach fantastic London going right behind Sarah let's walk this way over that way eventually you will come to uh, Brazil and over that way you have Johannesburg what a viewpoint this is absolutely stunning and we've got the weather to match it as well how privileged are we? Gorgeous, gorgeous. And you'll get these little armbands and you have them scanned at the entrance. If you come to the left hand side with one of these armbands which got you into St Michael's Caves, then it's completely free. If you go to the right hand side of that path there, I think there's a slight extra charge. Okay, so if you're on the armband trail, then just come to your left hand side and that'll bring you around the skywalk. making our way back down to the city of Gibraltar and this is pretty amazing they teach four languages in schools nowadays here in Gibraltar the main two languages are obviously English and uh, Spanish because this is how close the border is if you take a look down there the other side of that runway you can see some cars just pulling in and that is Spain this is Gibraltar, the runway, this side of the runway is actually Gibraltar, the other side is Spain, that is pretty unbelievable. So the other, the four languages that they speak now in schools is French, German, 
English and Spanish. Four languages for school children because they want to get the tourist, is, tourist industry booming in Gibraltar because it is quite a small island, if you can call it an island, it's a breakaway. Um, and that is the way forward for the government to bring the youngsters through, which is great, and have them multilingual. But that is unbelievable. We're stood here and we can see Spain. It's, it's just the other side of that runway that you just saw the EasyJet plane take off from. Travel, total day.